At the opening of the holy door of the parish of Regina Pacis, the basilica was filled today with many people who themselves have crossed the threshold of the United States to build a new life. The basilica offers mass in English, Spanish, Italian, and Chinese. On this Gaudete Sunday, all four were spoken and sung following the rite of the opening of the Door of Mercy, celebrated by Bishop James Massa. This is the Lord's gate. Let us enter through it and obtain mercy and forgiveness. I think mercy means the same thing for every community once they understand it. And once they have experienced it themselves, no matter where they come from, they will never forget what mercy means. There's something about a door. You know, when you pass through a door, it's always to meet someone on the other side. And through the door of mercy, we pass in order to meet the Lord himself, to meet Jesus. And he's there with open arms to embrace us, to assure us of the Father's love, and that life can always begin anew. I feel very blessed walking through this door. Um, I got married here 10 years ago, and we're expecting a baby. So we're so excited, and when I walked through the door today, I saw those people getting together. It's just a beautiful thing. One of the six churches in our diocese with a dedicated mercy door, Regina Patches is prepared to receive pilgrims throughout this jubilee year. In this year of mercy, it falls to us and to you as parishioners of this wonderful parish of Regina Patches. It falls to all of us to share with neighbors and relatives that there is a place for everyone to meet God and find peace in their lives. The door is always open. When pilgrims come here, we will know first what their languages are. We will have prayer services in different languages when the pilgrims come. We have the holy cards that DeSales printed for the diocese in different languages to give them. Uh, we will hear confessions, as we do all the time, in four languages. Uh, so we're ready, and uh, the people know it, and I'm, as pastor, I couldn't be more blessed. This is a very important thing that the doors stay open because we are going to be able to come back to church. Those people that they feel afraid to come back, they will have a chance to be forgiven. So everyone could come to the church and ask for forgiving and God will forgive them and they restart again in the new life. It's like saying, you know, not just your sins are forgiven, but God knows who you really are and what you keep inside, and things that you don't even like about yourself anymore. But he loves you anyway, and he welcomes you anyway, no matter when you turn to him. And that's the experience of mercy. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.